When you have autism, finding work is a challenge. Finding satisfying work often just doesn't happen. The job that I had before this was in shipping in a warehouse. Now he's on the crest of a new wave in workplace diversity, working as a computer programmer at Ford Motor Company. Do you feel like you're better suited for this work? Absolutely. I actually feel like this is something that I can do that feels, I guess, worth while. Ford, Microsoft, Walgreens drugstores, and SAP, Germany's largest software maker, are all hiring workers with autism. They call it neurodiversity. Like all workers, Kevin Roach says he has his limitations. Most of it is when there's something unexpected that comes up that I don't feel entirely prepared for, and that can be really overwhelming for me where I just feel like I don't know what's going on. I'm getting too much information at one time. But he and other autistic workers also bring advantages other employees lack. Generally speaking, people with autism have a much greater ability to sustain intense concentration on something. So if they are in a job uh, concentrating on something that they're passionate about, the concentration level is likely to be much more significant than a person without autism. The vast majority of people with autism are unemployed, so employment programs help them by putting food on the table, but they also help taxpayers at large by taking people off of public assistance and giving them a chance to contribute to society. Kirsten Queen proposed the program at Ford after her brother was diagnosed with autism. They asked us to look for roles that require a great deal of focus and attention to detail and great organizational skills. I've actually had another job, but it, wasn't, it paid me nowhere near as much as I get paid here. For him and other workers with autism, the experiment in neurodiversity is paying off. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Detroit.